welcome all to this video lecture this is john milton i'm working as an assistant professor in the department of microbiology st joseph college of arts and science atanamas and kadal in this video lecture we will uh, discuss about the dna sequencing So the determination of nucleotide sequences in the DNA molecule is called as DNA sequences. If we determine the nucleotide sequences in the RNA that is called as RNA sequencing. So for the DNA sequencing means the finding out of order of the bases nucleotides in the nucleic acid that is called as sequencing. The DNA sequencing is important to understand the functions of gene and the basis of the inherited uh, disorder uh, that is the genetic uh, diseases the diseases which uh, transfer uh, from one generation to another generation uh, uh, that is called as genetic uh, disorders there are two types of method for dna sequencing they are maxim and gilbert method sanger and colson method First of all, we will see about Maxim and Gilbert method. This is the first developed DNA sequencing method by Maxim and Gilbert in the year of 1977. They used the chemical reagents to cut the DNA in this method. In this method, a strand of a source of D, source DNA, that is a sample DNA, should be labeled with radioactive isotope at one end. After labeling, the DNA must be separated and the labeled DNA, that is the DNA, the single strand DNA that will be labeled, that is labeled with the radioactive isotope should be taken in a four test tube. Each sample is subjected to treatment with a chemical that specifically destroy one of the bases, either guanine or cytosine or two bases that is both adenine and guanine thiamine and cytosine in the DNA and that means that one chemicals will make a cleave where the guanine residue is there in the DNA and another chemical will make a cleave where the cytosine residue is present in the DNA and another chemical will make a cleave wherever the adenine residue and the guanine residue is there in the DNA and another chemical will make a cleave where the thiamine residue both the thiamine residue and cytosine residue wherever they are present in the DNA so as a result the DNA strands are partially digested into four sample at uh, uh, sites guanine adenine and guanine thiamine and cytosine and cytosine a series of various length of DNA will be formed after the chemical treatment the actual length of the fragment uh, depends on the site where uh, the basis is present uh, and is destroyed from the labeled again. For example, if there uh, C residue, cytosine residue at the position of uh, 4, 7, 10 away from the labeled again, then the resulting fragment uh, will be the pieces which containing 3 bases, 6 bases and 9 uh, bases. Uh, that is uh, meaning uh, uh, the chemicals which specifically make a cleave or destroy wherever the cytosine residue is there. Uh, the cytosine residue is uh, usually present on the fourth uh, region or of the fourth one. So uh, the enzymes will make a cleave uh, before the fourth basis. Likewise, before the sixth basis, uh, it will make a cleave. Sorry, before the seventh basis, it will make a cleave and produce the fragment with a length of six bases. Likewise, before the 10th basis, it will make a cleave and produce the uh, DNA with the 9 bases in length. So, likewise, uh, the different length fragment will be formed wherever the cytosine residue is there, uh, uh, guanine residue is there, and guanine uh, adenine residue is there, cytosine thiamine residue is there. So, it depends upon the different length fragment will be formed after the chemical treatment. The labeled DNA fragments obtained in four tips are subjected to the electrophoresis side by side and they are detected by autoradiograph. So, in this, uh, the DNA fragments uh, that will be 
subject to the electrophoresis uh, that is they are loaded uh, in the wells of electrophoresis and uh, run the electrophoresis uh, by connecting the electrode. Uh, the electrophoresis is the technique uh, that will uh, separate the molecules uh, depends upon the molecular weight. The heavier molecular uh, uh, the heavier uh, weight, uh, weight compound that will uh, move slowly and uh, the lower uh, and the lesser molecular weight molecules will uh, move fastly. That is the principle of electrophoresis. The sequence of the bases in the given sample can be constructed uh, from the bands on electrophoresis. So here after the treatment uh, the samples from the G tubes are loaded uh, in the wells separate well and the sample of uh, A and G will loaded in a separate tubes and the sample of T and C will be loaded in a separate tube and uh, the sample of C uh, will be loaded in a separate tube. So the bands will be formed uh, depends upon the fragment which is produced after the chemical treatment. If the band is formed in the tube of G and A plus G, the base is guanine. If the band is formed only in the A plus G tube, the band is adenine. Likewise, if the band is formed in T and T plus C tube and C tube, the base is cytosine. If the band is formed only in the T plus C tube, the band is the base is a thiamine. So uh, by which we can uh, identify what is the basis that depends upon the band formed. The band will be formed uh, by the radioactive isotope which is labeled already at one end of the single standard DNA. So here the first band from the top uh, is formed in the tube of T plus C. So uh, the base is a thiamine. And the second band is formed only in the tube of C. So the base is a cytosine. And the third band is formed only in the tube of A plus G. So the base is adenine. The fourth band is formed in the tube of C uh, guanine and A plus G. So the base is a guanine. The fifth band is formed in the tube of C and T plus C. So the band the base is a cytosine. And the sixth band is formed in the G tube as well as A plus G. So the uh, base is guanine. And the seventh band is formed only in the tube of T plus C. So the base is thiamine. And the eighth band is formed in the tube of T plus G and sorry, T plus C and C. So the base is cytosine. The ninth band is formed in the tube of A plus G alone. So the base is adenine. The tenth base is so the tenth, tenth band is formed only in the tube of T plus C, not in C. So the base is thiamine. And the last band is formed only in the tube of A plus G. So the sequence is the base is adenine. So by this we can find out the order of the bases in the nucleotide sequences. This is a maximum and Gilbert method. The next method is Sanger and Coulson method. It is also called as a dideoxynucleotide method or chain termination method. This technique was developed by Sanger et al. in the year of 1980 and is a commonly used technique for the DNA sequencing when compared with the Maxim and Gilbert method. This is an enzymatic procedure commonly referred to as a chain termination method. In this method, the dideoxynucleotide triphosphates are used for all the bases, uh, dideoxynucleotide tripo, uh, adenine, adenosine triphosphate, dideoxy guanine triphosphate, dideoxy thiamine triphosphate, dideoxy cytosine triphosphate, all the uh, three uh, bases uh, are produced for the dideoxynucleotide triphosphates. So, what is the difference between the deoxynucleotide triphosphate and dideoxynucleotide triphosphate? So, the first picture shows uh, the structure of the deoxynucleotide triphosphate. Here, at the fourth position, at the fourth carbon atom, uh, the hydroxyl molecule will be there. 
whereas in the dideoxynucleotide triphosphate at the fourth carbon atom a hydrogen molecule will be there instead of the hydroxyl molecule that is the main difference between these two molecules so usually the dideoxynucleotide triphosphate is uh, uh, chemically synthesized compounds uh, by excluding the molecule of hydroxyl molecule at the three frame end instead of uh, that uh, the hydrogen molecules will be there in the dideoxynucleotide triphosphate that will be produced by that will be produced for all the ba four bases uh, for the uh, adenine guanine cytosine thymine so in the normal process of dna replication an incoming nucleoside triphosphate is attached by its five frame phosphate uh, to the three frame hydroxyl molecule of a lost nucleotide to growing chain when a dideoxin nucleotide is incorporated to the growing chain no further elongation uh, will be there because for the elongation chain elongation uh, there must be hydroxyl molecules at the three frame end of the growing strand then only the next adjacent nucleotide can be connected and form a phosphodiester bond between uh, the hydroxyl molecule of a three frame end and phosphate uh, molecule of the five frame end of the next two molecules otherwise the chain will be inhibited uh, the chain synthesis uh, will be stopped so because of the lack of the three frame hydroxyl molecule in the dideoxin nucleotide uh, the phosphodiester bond cannot be formed and uh, dna synthesis uh, terminates so this picture shows that if the uh, instead of the dideoxin sorry instead of dideoxin nucleotide phosphate if dideoxin nucleotide phosphate will be attached in the growing end that will uh, Uh, stop the chain elongation because uh, if there is uh, hydroxyl molecule if there is hydrogen molecules in the growing end that will stop the chain elongation because there uh, no uh, phosphodiester bond can be formed between the uh, hydrogen molecules and the phosphate molecules for forming the phosphodiester bond uh, there must be a connection with the hydroxyl molecule of the three frame end and the phosphate molecule of the five frame end of the next nucleotides so the steps in idx nucleotide methods method is uh, the following are uh, the a single strand dna to be sequenced is chosen as a template then it is attached to a primer the hydroxyl molecule of uh, the primer initiate the new dna strand synthesis the dna synthesis carried out in four reaction tubes each tube contains the template dna primer dna polymerase and four dx nucleotide triphosphate uh, the, that is dideoxy sorry uh, deoxy adenine thymine triphosphate deoxy cytosine triphosphate deoxy adenine triphosphate deoxy one and triphosphate these four are the raw materials without these four the dna cannot be synthesized the template strand is that is the uh, source of uh, dna the primer is nothing but it is a short segment of dna that initiate the synthesis of the dna the dna polymerase is the enzyme sir, that is the main enzyme core enzyme for the synthesis of the nucleic acids dna then small quantity of the dideoxy adenine triphosphate uh, to be added in the tube 1 uh, dideoxy guanine triphosphate uh, to the tube 2 dideoxy thymine triphosphate to the tube 3 and dideoxy cytosine triphosphate to the tube 4 the dna synthesis is carried out by the dna polymerase by adding the deoxy nucleotide triphosphate one by one so as the new dna synthesis is completed each tube contains fragments of dna of varying in length because uh, in uh, one places or any places uh, instead of the died instead of the deoxy nucleotide to phosphate the dideoxy nucleotide to phosphate will be attached and stop the synthesis so because of this reason uh, the different length dna fragment will be formed after the synthesis of the dna by the dna polymerase the sample from each tube are separated by electrophoresis uh, the shortest dna will be the fastest moving and electrophoresis uh, depends upon the band uh, formed and the electrophoresis uh, we can uh, Uh, draw the bases uh, order of the bases in the dna sequencing so this sequence of bases in the dna fragment is determined by identifying the electrophoretic bands by adder radiograph the important limitation in this method is the use of primer to an unknown sequence of the sample uh, we cannot uh, design the uh, primer with uh, known sequences because we did not know the uh, sequence order of the sample dna which is uh, unknown so these are the dis this is the disadvantages for this technique uh, so this is uh, regarding the dna sequencing uh, thank you for uh, uh, watching this video lecture
Thank you.